Hi guys, I have uh, Arun Tomar with me. Arun is a friend. We know each other for almost uh, nine years now, and you have about ten years of experience in uh, telecom domain in companies like Spice Mobile, uh, Ericsson, Ericent. So currently he is working in uh, Ericsson. What I like most about Arun is that uh, he has been a consistent performer, consistent best performer in whatever companies and you know whatever work he has done. He has been he has outperformed in that work. Right, so that, that's why I really admire him for that, and uh, uh, you know uh, I really appreciate his major body of work. I think is in Java technology, Java and related technologies. Right, so we will talk about it. So Arun, Arun, you want to briefly describe? Uh, you, you want to briefly talk about your body of work? Uh, uh, first of all, uh, hello to everyone, and I would like to thank uh, thank you Kamal because he is a very kind of you know uh, to appreciate people uh, whatever the work they have done. I mean whatever uh, they are doing. Uh, so now I'll come to my uh, work experience like. Uh, I have worked in uh, various domain earlier in starting of my ca career. Uh, when I was with Spice Mobile, uh, we used to uh, develop the uh, various applications. Uh, exam for example, if you have heard about Airtel Radio and uh, so, various is value added services. Yes, yeah, value added services. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I moved to another company, and uh, there I worked in LBS domain, which is location based services. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a product actually, so uh, we developed a product which is which was used uh, by telecom operator across the world. So uh, it was like uh, to find out the locations. For example, yeah. if you want to find out the location of your wife when she is going out, you know, mm -hmm. so uh, you can use that application. And you were saying that you, you, it is uh, used still in some. Uh, yes, 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 yeah, it is live around uh, uh, forty operators in in US uh, okay. and uh, other uh, countries. Okay. So it's not that much popular in India. It's mm -hmm. uh, because you know we can track by the yeah. saying uh, friends. Okay, uh, see. Uh, so in India, it is very easy to track people. Yes, right? yes. In US, it is really difficult to track. Yeah, people. yeah. So that's why uh, technology is helping in tracking those people. Yeah, yeah, because in the US, uh, 911 is one of the most important number. Yeah. And when somebody is stuck up, so they will call on 911 and then 911 application will uh, will use this LBS uh, product to find out the location uh, of the caller. So, and uh, as of now, I'm working in uh, as a solution architect uh, in the telecom domain. Uh, and over here, uh, it's like I'm using uh, all the technologies like Java mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I do cell scripting as well. We do the uh, database designs, mm -hmm. we do the uh, tables, mm -hmm. queries, and uh, mm -hmm. cursor procedures, everything actually. Okay. So, so, so if I if I ask you that, you know, what what are the technologies which are important for a person to grow in telecom domain? So, what will be those technologies? What will those technologies be? Yeah, it's a good question actually. Uh, I would say like no technology is, uh, there is no particular technology like you should be mastering on this. But yes, you should be having a good knowledge on uh, telecom uh, products like for example, if you talk about operator Airtel mm -hmm. in India. Uh, so if Airtel wants to grow, then what all services uh, an operator should give to mm -hmm. its the customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and and if I hire you on the project uh, for Airtel, so you should I mean you should know the basic of telecom, how the call flow works, how the SMS. So if I send an SMS uh, from my mobile to yours, so the how how it connects actually. So you should have the basic knowledge plus uh, you have the a good uh, uh, course uh, fundamentals. So if, if you look at the telecom domain itself, then what are the technologies that are being used in telecom domain? So is it like limited to a few technologies, or is it like you know? Uh, more technologies, more and more technologies are used across uh, the in the in this domain. Yeah, uh, actually, each and every technology is uh, being used. If you say, uh, for mm -hmm. example, uh, C C is also used, C plus plus, Java, JDE, right. mm -hmm. and uh, the cell scripting, uh, mm -hmm. database, PLSQLs, everything is making use. Mm -hmm. Like Node.js, we are using Node.js as well, AngularJS. I mean, mm -hmm. the latest technology also we are using. So what we are saying is that the fundamentals remains the same. Yes, basically, uh, you know. The telephony fundamentals, on the top of telephony fundamentals, every technology is being used, uh, yeah. and so so this is not a technology specific thing, but the core fundamentals core are fundamentals. Tele of telephony. Yes, right. that's great. So uh, 
if you if you interview a candidate, you know, if you if you visit a campus and in that campus, if you if, if a fresher comes, so what is it that you look into that fresher? You know, what is it that 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 fresher should possess? The, you know, so uh, what are the skills that uh, that that fresher should have? So and and we are talking about only fresher. Fresher means that you know he's a he's a B Tech or M Tech student. Mm -hmm. So what what skill set will you look into uh, to to hire that candidate? Okay, actually. Uh uh, our main focus always uh, remain to the core fundamentals, the core skills uh, uh, he or she have. Uh, for example, uh, if she is uh, good in English, yeah. and uh, but she is uh, not that good at the uh, So we'll, come, we'll part. come to the soft skills, right? So right now, you know, what, what is it that you will look into that candidate? The main part is actually uh, the core fundamentals, I say, the uh, um, uh, basic, I mean, lo logical uh, abilities. Uh, how much the logical the candidate is, like how much uh, so logical saying, thinking he can put, he or she can put uh, in the solving the problem. So you are saying two things. One is the core fundamentals, and another is the logical ability. Yes. Right. So how how will you test the logical ability of the candidate? Uh, we uh, we test them by giving the puzzles, like to solve the uh, we give some puzzles, and uh, then we see how uh, he or she approach to solve that puzzle. How much logical he or she thinks? Right. So, so you give give the person, you, you give the candidate an unknown problem. Yes. Sir. And the way of approaching that unknown problem yes. helps you in uh, selecting or not selecting that. Candidate. Yes, yes, yes. Right? We don't expect uh, he or she to solve it. Right. But uh, we just look how she he or she thinks mm -hmm. to solve that particular problem actually. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you uh, try to solve a problem, then mm -hmm. uh, it will be. You know, we can observe, okay, how much logical mm -hmm. or, uh, I mean, how much the core uh, fundamentals knowledge right, right, right. Have. So, you know, uh, I also used to say the same thing. So, when, when we teach uh, in a class, so what I emphasize on is that whenever an unknown problem comes to you, mm -hmm. if you, so if, if an interviewer asks you puzzle, right, mm -hmm. and if the candidate gives the answer of that puzzle instantaneously, Mm -hmm. Then the impression that the candidate that the interviewer will get is that the person already know the puzzle. Yeah. The interviewer will not get an impression that the person is able to solve this puzzle so fast. So fast. Right? Yes. <laughs> so the basic premise that uh, the interviewer want, you know, mm -hmm. the basic thing that the interviewer want to judge is that how good you are in solving unknown problem mm -hmm. that remain unjust. Yes. That, right. So, so that yes. that that problem remains unsolved and probably the interviewer will ask another question. Right. Yes, yes. So, uh, what is important as you are saying is not how good you are, uh, whether you are able to solve a particular problem or not. Yeah. Important thing is how you approach a problem. Yes, right? exactly. And if you are stuck at a particular solution, then what is it, what out of box thinking do you put into that? Yes, yes. Right? Uh, because if you solve the problem, uh, if I gave you a puzzle mm -hmm. and you uh, Instantly you come up, okay, this is step one, step two, step three. Mm -hmm. Then it means it's okay, you are good at, you might be good at that, mm -hmm. and you might have done that problem 100 times, mm -hmm. that's why you remember all those uh, mm -hmm. uh, steps. So, 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 one good thing is that the, the, uh, the person is into puzzle solving. Yes, right? puzzle so, solving. so, this is a good takeaway. Yes. But uh, uh, whether, how how good is the person in, how good is the candidate in solving unknown problem is yet to be seen. Yes, yet to be seen. Yet to be seen. Yes. So, this, this is good. This is good. So, uh, and, and this was about logical thing. So, how, how do you judge the core fundamentals? Uh, how do we judge the core fundamentals? Like, uh, whenever we ask uh, to, I mean, whenever we ask these unknown problems and then we ask to write the code for that. Okay. I mean, once he or she solved the problem mm -hmm. and then we ask to write a code right. for that. Right. So, in that way, I mean, uh, in that way we judge the core fundamentals. Right. Like so how much he or she is strong in that. That's great. So, so two things. One is that the problem that you are giving initially is a problem that can be coded. Yes. Right. Yes. It means you are not giving riddles. Yeah. Right? Usually riddles can't be coded. Right. Riddles have a. So uh, by riddles we mean that uh, you know something which has a specific answer, only one answer. So it is very difficult to logically code that riddle. Yes. Right? Yes. Right. Second thing is that when you when you ask the person to code. Uh, do you specify that the technology in which to code? Do you say that you know code it in Java only, or the candidate can can code it in you know his choice of technology? Uh, 
No, no, it is it is not mandatory at all because uh, whenever we ask to do uh, a code for it, we can ask to, uh, we ask the candidate in whatever technology mm -hmm. you feel comfortable, you can write the code in that. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's that's great. So actually, uh, um, we are also uh, when we teach, so we are teaching in those lines only. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So second thing is that you know if if a student mm -hmm. goes outside and do a course on a specific technology. Yeah. For example, I am a BTEC student and I go outside and do a course on advanced mm -hmm. .NET or J2E mm -hmm. or you know AngularJS or HTML CSS. Mm -hmm. What value addition does that uh, course bring? Of course, I mean uh, whatever the knowledge you gain mm -hmm. uh, apart from your regular uh, BTEC degree, uh, everything counts actually, every knowledge counts. Mm -hmm. But it depends how much the core, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, the core of that particular technology, for example, if you uh, did a course in uh, AngularJS and then how much you learned about like how this technology built upon and how this internally works, I mean, that is more, more mm -hmm. main important actually. You can learn the technology while you're working, but the basics, if you have the uh, good Fundament. basics, basic fundamentals mm -hmm. strong, then it will be very valuable for us. Right. So, you, so, you, so you are saying that whenever a student goes out and to do a course on advanced technology, what the student should probably focus on is the uh, fundamentals of that technology rather than the syntax of the, that technology. Yes, yes, right. So, so this is this is you know I have a very good experience on that. So, uh, peop, uh, I have seen students going out um, to learn Android. Right, Android is mm -hmm. a happening thing. Mm -hmm. Right. So, what they come up with is that you know. In, in this two months or one month course, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, they are able to write, they are able to create uh, their own app, they are able to create an activity, uh -huh. they are able to, you know, uh, uh, display list, they are able to create the view controller part and all that. Right. Yeah. But uh, most of them do not even know how this is uh, interacting with the desktop, how it uh -huh. is debugging, the, uh -huh. you know, ADB bridge okay. or, you know, even the architecture of Android. Many people are not even comfortable with the architecture, basic architecture of their Android. Right, right, right. right. Uh -huh. So if 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 I go as an interviewer and to in, interview a candidate for Android, uh -huh. I'll probably focus on more on the uh, fundamental part. Yes, you yes. Know, what is it that Android is built on? How the C plus plus part and Java part, you know, in the architecture itself are interacting. Yeah. Basically, the core yeah. fundamentals is very hard to uh, learn. I mean, mm -hmm. the syntax you can uh, learn it if you will uh, do coding mm -hmm. uh, three, four times uh, mm -hmm. in that particular technology. You you learn the syntax easily. Right, right. You have to put semicolon, how to terminate the conditions. Mm -hmm. Like if uh, mm -hmm. they might be like uh, and they are they are they are largely same. Yeah, like, all yeah, loop, almost looping same. Kind of looping structures, right, branching right. structures. Right. So so programming structures are largely same. Yes, so yes. even if you learn particular syntax, that may not hold a value in it. Plus, you know, IDEs and all those help in you help you in uh, create help you in uh, you know writing the syntaxes. Yes, yes. Right? But uh, the fundamental, that, yeah. but the fundamentals are very important. Yeah. So, nowadays, uh, the IDEs are so powerful that they generate a uh, simple attempt right. for you. So right. you just need to uh, modify. Uh, you you define a bean and the getter setters are generated for yes, you. Yes. Right. So you don't need to write those functions and all that. Yeah. Right. All right. So uh, this was for freshers. You know, this was for people who are. Uh, this was for candidates who are in into their degree. Yes. yes. So if an experienced person comes, so how, uh, you know, what is the process of interviewing an experienced person? What is it that you look for in an experienced guy? Actually, uh, there are two steps in that. Uh, first of all, we look at the project requirement. Mm -hmm. What are the requirements for our projects? Uh -huh. And then we uh, filter the profile on the basis of that. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, suppose we have a good profile, uh, he or she might be strong mm -hmm. in the web technologies, mm -hmm. okay, website development and all those things, mm -hmm. but he might not aware about the telecom uh, basics. Mm -hmm. So uh, he or she might not be that much useful for us. Mm -hmm. So we will prefer the candidate who has a good uh, knowledge in telecom domain. Mm -hmm. For example, I'm talking about because I'm working in telecom domain mm -hmm. and I'm looking yeah, yeah, candidate yeah. for telecom. So, so this is so, specific to telecom domain only. Yeah. Right. So uh, I I will look for the uh, telecom knowledge in mm -hmm. the can, uh, in the candidate, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, then we will uh, also you know, the technology is also more important. If you have only telecom knowledge, it's good, but you should have the uh, technologies uh, mm -hmm. as well. 
then we will uh, check the related technologies uh, with the telecom domain, not only with this project because this project will last only for a year or something, then, mm -hmm. but you are there in the company. Right, right. So you have the different kind of uh, technologies mm -hmm. uh, which is important and we uh, test it on the basis of, for example, uh, you have the Java, you have the SQL, PL SQL, you have the, you are good at self scripting. So mm -hmm. uh, these things are, uh, and in telecom domain, if I talk about each and every technology, is an add-on. Is, being, is yeah, an add-on. Is an add-on and it, we are using it. I mean, yes, uh, like Node.js, AngularJS, mm -hmm. Java, and Advanced Java, you can say, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, then .NET is not that much used. I haven't seen that much. C, C++, everything and cell scripting, yeah. everything is uh, being used. So, so you are saying that when, when a profile of a candidate comes, then uh, uh, the candidate is called for the interview based on an open open position, yes. right? Yes. So it is not that the candidate is called uh, for interview to be on bench, no. right? or obviously. So he, he is called for a specific position. So when the candidate is called for a specific position, it may happen that you get profile of two candidates. Mm -hmm. One fits your position, the other may be better or worse than that, but he does not fit your the requirement of the open position that you have. Right. Right. So if a candidate does not get selected, if the resume does not get shortlisted, it does not mean that the resume has some shortcomings or resume has some problem, no. the, uh, or you know, candidate is lacking in some knowledge or some some work. It just means that the skill set of the candidate does not fit the requirement. Yeah, actually, if it doesn't match to a uh, project requirement, then actually it is a waste of time of the candidate and as well as ours. That's right. So. Uh, it is preferred to uh, include yes. the candidate who is matching, who is have a matching skill set uh, with the uh, telecom industry. Actually. That's right. That's right. And, and what you have said is that uh, in in experience guy, you look for very strong fundamentals yes. and you look for uh, uh, strong body of work also in terms of technology that, that yes, he has. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, strong yes. fundamentals. I mean, uh, uh, the core fundamentals of telecom. Uh, that is actually a low compromise, yes. you know, that is, that is a must to have. Yes, if you must to have, have actually. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that is true for, you know, uh, across domain actually. Yes. You, you are in telecom domain, so if you look for any, any product domain, then uh, algorithms, data structures, these are the core fundamentals of, you know, product, right. building right. a product. Right. Right. So, so those are not, those, those cannot be compromised. Exactly. If a person does not know Android, then he can be taught Android. If a person does not know C++, then he can be taught C++. Yeah. Or, you know, if, if a person knows Java, but he does not know .NET, then .NET can be taught. Yeah, yeah. But it is very difficult to actually build up the entire logic. So, so that requires, you know, for that you yeah. have uh, your engineering degree. Uh, logics are the basics of everything. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, um, you know, uh, last thing is that uh, uh, in, in those, uh, when you go for hiring freshers, so mm -hmm. why I'm asking this question again is that, you know, uh, because uh, Freshers or the BTEC students or MCA students or MTech students, sometimes they are confused about how important are the soft skills in comparison to how important is their core BTEC degree. Yeah. Or for example, how important is the things, core computer science concepts that are taught in their BTEC degree versus the advanced technology courses that are happening outside. Mm -hmm. right? So how, how, how valuable do you think are the these soft skills like, you know, the candidate is presentable, the dress code of the candidate is good. Or how important, it, how how valuable it, it is that his English is good, you know he is very presentable. So how important are these soft skills? See, uh, everything is important, but the main important thing which is the strong core fundamentals. If mm -hmm. a candidate uh, have uh, a good soft skills, mm -hmm. plus he has a good, he or she has a good dressing sense, mm -hmm. and then he is excellent in core fundamentals, then it is you know. Uh, it is mm -hmm. clean candidate, the main candidate for us. But the candidate who is not that much good at the soft skill part, mm -hmm. and but he is very strong in core, core fundamentals, then he is the uh, candidate which we can you know uh, choose. Right. But the person only who is you know who is well dressed and he is very good at English, he is very much fluent. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but when we talk about the basics, the core fundamentals and the technologies, he is not that good. So, uh, so let me rephrase this. What you are saying is that uh, soft skills are good to have things, yes. but they cannot be the selection criteria. No, they cannot be. So they are they are like the, the toppings of a pizza, right. but the crust of the pizza, the base of the pizza is your 
uh, strong fundamentals and core computer science concepts that you have studied in the uh, degree, degree in exactly. your in your B engineering or you know master's degree whatever yes yes all right so uh, so it, it is great talking to you Arun and uh, I'm sure we will be having more such conversations yeah. right uh, I appreciate the time that you have given to us and uh, you know really thank you for that uh, thanks to you Kamal for uh, giving me this opportunity uh, just to express my experience and uh, just to uh, let the people know like what should they prepare in the starting of their career because uh, we when I started my career uh, we were not mm -hmm. having uh, these kind of uh, things with these the opportunity mm -hmm. like these days if you I mean, uh, you know you know why I started this is a very interesting thing I I you, I, you know I visit a lot of mm -hmm. colleges and give seminars in those colleges yes yes in one college uh, I was shocked to see a student coming to me and saying that the I will not name the college of the training and placement officer, mm -hmm. but a student came to me and said that the training and placement officer is saying, sir, if you, uh, if I wear pink shirt to interviews, then my chances of selection uh, is oh reduced. My God. Uh, so, uh, this, so this, this is the level. Actually, the problem is that most of the training and placement officers of, mm -hmm. in these colleges do not have a first-hand industry experience. Actually, they have never been interviewed. They have never interviewed the other person. So they come up with something, some fancy, some fancy logic in their mind. That you know this this can be uh, this is this is going on in the interviewer's mind or interviewer is coming out of, you know interviewer will get carried away by these things. Yes. But the fact is that interviewer is coming with a mandate. Yeah. Right. Uh, interviewer is coming with uh, a, a specific requirement in his mind. Exactly. Yes. And those requirements are usually technical requirements. Right. 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 Unless we are interviewing some MBA candidate for marketing or sales. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it depends upon the candidate uh, right. you are interviewing for uh, which one you require. If you uh, interviewing a candidate uh, for the sales uh, purpose, mm -hmm. so uh, he, he should be he or she should be well dressed and he should be uh, good at communication skills right. so because they need to interact with the customers. Right. right. So that's why we have started this series of interviews. You know, because okay. if I go to college and I I tell students that you know this is not important in this particular company, then they may not believe me. Mm -hmm. But when it is coming directly from the horse's mouth, who is going to interview candidates, who is going to campus placements, right. then uh, that will probably have uh, more impact on the students. So, so, so this is what we are. Actually, Ritambara in itself, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the name of our yeah. company, Ritambara Technologies. Ritambara means sustained knowledge, oh, that's which means knowledge that is true. Right? Mm -hmm. So that is what uh, we, uh, we we kind of work on. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. You so thank you, Arun. Job. Yeah. So, so thank you. We will be having more such conversations. Sure. Right? sure. Thank you.